it's Karen Jones from Secret to Living Lightly and today you find me standing on a chair so I've got the height to look at the area of energy which is the area of sustainability we're going to be talking about today. We've got a light fitting here that's got five of the sort of lights but for those of you who are really observant you can see that it's not necessary to have a light bulb in each one. So in fact I've only got two light bulbs here uh, instead of the full five and that gives it enough energy like last week we had nine people sitting on the, the table below the lights and had a really good dinner party and there was no problems with being able to see. You can also see that we've got the energy saving light bulbs in there and the technology of energy saving light bulbs has just come so far and the fact that the Australian government now has it by law that it's mandatory to, to be using the energy efficient light bulbs really means that uh, more research has been done and the, the technology of light bulbs is just going ahead in leaps and bounds. The fact that three years ago you could only get these special light bulbs in, in special lighting shops, now just about every hardware, every supermarket um, has them and look I was up at Mansfield a couple of weeks ago and they've got them in, in their small shops up there so look if they can make it to small little rural country towns there's, there's got to have them in, in the shops near you. These ones are actually the special dimmer uh, light bulbs, a little bit more expensive than the normal ones but for some people they thought you couldn't get dimmer uh, energy saving light bulbs, you can and, and here's living proof. Now I want to take us back to the beginning of where lights came from and, and I mean before Edison invented the light bulb, I'm talking about when candles were used or even the, the gas lamps in, in sort of the streets of, of America and, and London and those people on the long stilts that would go around and light them. They only had the resources to have them going for a certain period of time. Same with candles, that you, if you've anybody uses candles in their home, you know that your parents would often say to you, don't leave a candle unattended. And that's from a safety point of view. I'd probably like you to start thinking about that with lights. Don't leave your lights unattended. Back with the, the gas lanterns, they were only on for certain hours of the night because they didn't have the resources to keep them going. I feel we've lost that thought process. So now if you actually think about your lights as if they are candles, do you really need to have them all on? And a really good uh, game, I guess, to, to think about is think of how many people you have in your household and only have that number of lights on. So if there's only one of you, then there's only one light. If there's two of you, you can have two lights on. That's really good up to four people in the household. Anything above four, so for, the, for those of you that have six in the household or seven, come back to four lights on. Because really with that number of people in the house, there should be a couple of you at least within the same room. And people think, oh no, I've got to leave lights on because it takes so much energy to switch them on and off. Definitely true in the 1970s, 1950s. Today it's an old wives' tale. If you're leaving a room for more than five seconds, five seconds, flick the switch. It doesn't need that amount of energy to kick start it anymore. Technology has just brought us up to date and that really is an old wives tale relating to lights from, from years ago. So if you're leaving a room for more than five seconds, flick the switch. So if you start thinking that your lights are like candles and you can't leave them unattended, that you only have the number of lights on per person in the house, and that's a really good uh, way of involving children, especially if you've got children in the household. They love it because they become really good energy monitors and they'll soon be telling you, hang on, we've got too many lights on. Now that's really good for four in the household. Anything above four people in the household, then definitely start with your, your four lights. Also, you don't need a bulb per light fitting, just enough light for what you need to do in that room. So there's, there's, I've just bombarded you with a whole heap of top tips on how to save energy looking at lights. So hopefully that's all sunk in and until next week, enjoy living lightly.